In theoretical computer science, communication complexity studies the amount of communication required to solve a problem when the input to the problem is distributed among two or more parties. It was introduced by Andrew Yao in 1979, who investigated the following problem involving two separated parties, traditionally called Alice and Bob. Alice receives an n-bit string x and Bob another n-bit string y, and the goal is for one of them say Bob to compute a certain function f x, y, with the least amount of communication between them. Of course they can always succeed by having Alice send her whole n-bit string to Bob, who then computes the function f, but the idea here is to find clever ways of calculating f with fewer than n bits of communication. Note that in communication complexity, we are not concerned with the amount of computation performed by Alice or Bob, or the size of the memory used. This abstract problem with two parties called two-party communication complexity, and its general form with more than two parties, is relevant in many contexts. In VLSI circuit design, for example, one wants to minimize energy used by decreasing the amount of electric signals required between the different components during a distributed computation. The problem is also relevant in the study of data structures, and in the optimization of computer networks. For a survey of the field, see the textbook by Kashilovitz and Nissan Formal definition Let F x times y z display style f x times y right arrow z, where we assume in the typical case that x equals y equals zero one n display style x equals y equals 0 1 caret n and z equals 0 1 display style z equals 0 1 alice draws an n bit string x element of X display style X in X while Bob draws an n bit string y element of y display style y in y by communicating to each other one bit at a time adopting some communication protocol Alice and Bob want to compute the value of f x y display style f x y such that at least one party knows the value at the end of the communication at this point the answer can be communicated back so that at the cost of one extra bit both parties will know the answer the worst case communication complexity of this communication problem of computing f display style f denoted as d f display style d f is then defined to be d f equals display style d f equals Minimum number of bits exchanged between Alice and Bob in the worst case. Assuming the above definition, it is useful to think of the function f as a matrix A called the input matrix, where each row of the matrix corresponds to x element of x display style x in x 
and each column corresponds to y element of y display style y in y an entry in the input matrix is a x y equals f x y display style a underscore mathrm x y equals f x y Initially both Alice and Bob have a copy of the entire matrix A assuming the function f is known to both. Then, the problem of computing the function value can be rephrased as zeroing in on the corresponding matrix entry. This problem can be solved if either Alice or Bob knows both x and y. At the start of communication, the number of choices for the value of the function on the inputs is the size of matrix, i.e. 2 2 n displaystyle 2 caret 2 n. Then, as and when each party communicates a bit to the other, the number of choices for the answer reduces as this eliminates a set of rows, columns resulting in a submatrix of A. More formally, a set R X times Y displaystyle R subset X times Y is called a combinatorial rectangle if whenever x 1 y 1 element of r display style x underscore 1 y underscore 1 in r and x 2 y 2 element of r display style x underscore 2 y underscore 2 in r then x 1 y 2 element of r display style x underscore 1 y underscore 2 in r Equivalently, R can also be viewed as a submatrix of the input matrix A such that R equals M times N displaystyle R equals M times N where M X displaystyle M subset X and n y display style n subset x y consider the case when k bits are already exchanged between the parties now for a particular h element of 0 1 k Display style h in zero one carrot k. Let us define a matrix T h equals x y the k bits exchanged on input x y is H display style t underscore mathrm h equals x y text the k text bits exchanged on input x y text is h. Then t h x times y. Display style t underscore mathrm h subset x times y and t h 
display style t underscore mathrm h is a rectangle and a submatrix of A. Topic example eq. We consider the case where Alice and Bob try to determine if they both have the same string. That is, we are trying to determine if x is equal to y. It is easy to prove that the equality problem EQ will always require you to communicate n bits in the worst case if you want to be absolutely sure x and y are equal. Consider the simple case of x and y being 3 bits. The equality function in this case can be represented by the matrix below. The rows representing all the possibilities of x, the columns those of y. As you can see, the function only evaluates to 1 when x equals y i.e., on the diagonal. It is also fairly easy to see how communicating a single bit divides your possibilities in half. If you know that the first bit of y is 1, you only need to consider half of the columns where y can equal 100, 101, 110, or 111. Theorem D E Q equals N display style D EQ equals N proof assume that D E Q N minus one display style D EQ L EQ N one this means that there exists an X X display style X X and an X X display style X X having the same history H since this history defines a rectangle F X X display style F X X must also be 1 by definition X does not equal X display style X neq X and we know that equality is only true for a B display style a B when a equals B display style or equals B thus we have a contradiction intuitively for D e Q display style D EQ less than n we need to be able to define a rectangle in the EQ matrix greater in size than a single cell all of the cells in this rectangle must contain one for us to be able to generalize that this rectangle equals one it is not possible to form such a rectangle in the equality matrix topic randomized communication complexity in the above definition we are concerned with the number of bits that must be deterministically transmitted between two parties if both the parties are given access to a random number generator can they determine the value of f display style f with much less information exchanged. Yao, in his seminal paper, answers this question by defining randomized communication complexity. A randomized protocol R 
display style r for a function f display style f has two sided error pr r x y equals 0 greater than 2 3 if f x y equals 0 display style pr r x y equals 0 greater than frac 2 3 text rm if f x y equals 0 pr r x y equals 1 greater than 2 3 if f x y equals 1 display style p r r x y equals 1 greater than frac 2 3 text r m if f x y equals 1 a randomized protocol is a deterministic protocol that uses an extra random string in addition to its normal input. There are two models for this, a public string is a random string that is known by both parties beforehand, while a private string is generated by one party and must be communicated to the other party. A theorem presented below shows that any public string protocol can be simulated by a private string protocol that uses O log N additional bits compared to the original. Note that in the probability inequalities above, the outcome of the protocol is understood to depend only on the random string, both strings X and Y remain fixed. In other words, if R x y yields G x y R when using random string R, then G x y R equals f x y for at least half of all choices for the string R. The randomized complexity is simply defined as the number of bits exchanged in such a protocol. Note that it is also possible to define a randomized protocol with one-sided error, and the complexity is defined similarly. Example, EQ Returning to the previous example of EQ, if certainty is not required, Alice and Bob can check for equality using only O log n display style o log n messages. Consider the following protocol. Assume that Alice and Bob both have access to the same random string z element of zero one. Display style z in zero one carrot n. Alice computes z x display style z c d o t x and sends this bit, call it b, to Bob. The display style c d o t is the dot product in G F two. Then Bob compares b to Z Y display style Z C D O T Y. If they are the same, then Bob accepts, saying X equals Y. Otherwise, he rejects. Clearly, if X equals Y display style X equals Y, then Z x equals Z y 
display style z c d o t x equals z c d o t y. So p r o b z a c c e p t equals 1 display style prob underscore z except equals 1 if x does not equal y it is still possible that z x equals z y display style z c d o t x equals z c d o t y which would give bob the wrong answer how does this happen if x and y are not equal they must differ in some locations x equals c 1 c 2 p p x n y equals c 1 c 2 q q y n z equals z 1 z 2 z i z j z n Display style begin cases x equals c underscore one c underscore two l dots p l dots p l dots x underscore n y equals c underscore one c underscore two l dots q l dots q l dots y underscore n z equals z underscore one z underscore two l dots z underscore i l dots z underscore j l dots z underscore N end cases where x and y agree z i x i equals z i c i equals z i y i Display style z underscore i asterisk x underscore i equals z underscore i asterisk c underscore i equals z underscore i asterisk y underscore i. So those terms affect the dot products equally. We can safely ignore those terms and look only at where x and y differ. Furthermore, we can swap the bits x. I display style x underscore I and Y I display style Y underscore I without changing whether or not the dot products are equal. This means we can swap bits so that x contains only zeros and y contains only ones. X equals O O zero Y equals eleven one Z equals Z one Z two Z N Display style begin cases x equals o o l dots zero y equals eleven l dots one z equals z underscore one z underscore two l dots z underscore in end cases. Note that z x 
equals zero display style z c d o t x equals zero and z y equals sigma i z i display style z c d o t y equals sigma underscore i z underscore i now the question becomes for some random string z display style z what is the probability that sigma i z i equals 0 display style sigma underscore i z underscore i equals 0 since each z i display style z underscore i is equally likely to be 0 or 1 this probability is just 1 2 display style 1 half thus when x does not equal y p r o b z a c c e p t equals 1 2 display style prob underscore z except equals one half. The algorithm can be repeated many times to increase its accuracy. This fits the requirements for a randomized communication algorithm. This shows that if Alice and Bob share a random string of length n, they can send one bit to each other to compute e. Q X Y display style EQ X Y. In the next section, it is shown that Alice and Bob can exchange only O log N display style O log N bits that are as good as sharing a random string of length N. Once that is shown, it follows that EQ can be computed in O log n display style O log n messages. Topic: Public coins versus private coins. It is easier to create random protocols when both parties have access to the same random string shared string protocol. It is still possible to use these protocols even when the two parties don't share a random string private string protocol with a small communication cost. Any shared string random protocol using any number of random string can be simulated by a private string protocol that uses an extra O log N bits. Intuitively, we can find some set of strings that has enough randomness in it to run the random protocol with only a small increase in error. This set can be shared beforehand, and instead of drawing a random string, Alice and Bob need only agree on which string to choose from the shared set. This set is small enough that the choice can be communicated efficiently. A formal proof follows. Consider some random protocol P with a maximum error rate of 0.1. Let R Display style R B one hundred N Display style one hundred N Strings of length N numbered R one R two 
R one hundred N Display style R underscore one R underscore two dots R underscore one hundred N Given such an R Display style R Define a new protocol P R Display style P underscore R which randomly picks some R I display style R underscore I and then runs P using R I display style R underscore I as the shared random string. It takes O log one hundred N equals O log N bits to communicate the choice of R I display style R underscore I. Let us define P X Y display style P X Y and P R X Y display style P underscore R X Y to be the probabilities that P display style P and P R display style P underscore R compute the correct value for the input X Y display style X Y. For a fixed x y display style x y, we can use Hoeffding's inequality to get the following equation: p r r p r x y minus p x y 0.12 e x p minus 2 0.1 to 100 n 2 minus 2 n display style p r underscore r p underscore r x y p x y g e q 0 point one LEQ two EXP minus two zero one carrot two C D O T one hundred N thus when we don't have X Y display style X Y fixed P R R X Y P R X Y minus P X Y zero point one X Y P R R P R X Y minus P X Y zero point one X Y two minus two N equals one display style P R underscore R exists X Y P underscore R X Y P X Y G E Q zero point one L E Q sum underscore x y p r underscore r p underscore r x y p x y g e q zero one the last equality above holds because there are two two n display style two carrot two n different pairs x y display style x y since the probability does not equal one, there is some r zero display style r underscore zero, so that for all x y display style x y p r zero x y minus p x y zero point one display style p underscore r underscore zero x y p x y. Since p display style p has at most zero point one error probability. P R zero display style P underscore R underscore zero can have at most zero point two error probability. Topic Quantum communication complexity. Quantum communication complexity tries to quantify the communication reduction possible by using quantum effects during a distributed computation. At least three quantum generalizations of communication complexity have been proposed. For a survey, see the suggested text by G. Brassard. The first one is the qubit communication model, where the parties can use quantum communication instead of classical communication, for example by exchanging photons through an optical fiber. In a second model the communication is still performed with classical bits, but the parties are allowed to manipulate an unlimited supply of quantum entangled states as part of their protocols. 
By doing measurements on their entangled states, the parties can save on classical communication during a distributed computation. The third model involves access to previously shared entanglement in addition to qubit communication, and is the least explored of the three quantum models. Non-deterministic communication complexity In non-deterministic communication complexity, Alice and Bob have access to an oracle. After receiving the oracle's word, the parties communicate to deduce f x, y. The non-deterministic communication complexity is then the maximum over all pairs x, y over the sum of number of bits exchanged and the coding length of the oracle word. Viewed differently, this amounts to covering all one entries of the 0 over 1 matrix by combinatorial one rectangles i.e., non-contiguous, non-convex sub-matrices, whose entries are all one see Kashilovitz and Nissan or Dietzfelbinger al. The non-deterministic communication complexity is the binary logarithm of the rectangle covering number of the matrix, the minimum number of combinatorial one rectangles required to cover all one entries of the matrix, without covering any zero entries. Non-deterministic communication complexity occurs as a means to obtaining lower bounds for deterministic communication complexity see Dietzfelbinger al., but also in the theory of non-negative matrices, where it gives a lower bound on the non-negative rank of a non-negative matrix. Topic: Open problems. Considering a zero over one input matrix M F equals F x y x y element of zero. One N display style M underscore F equals F x Y underscore x Y in zero one carrot N The minimum number of bits exchanged to compute F display style F deterministically in the worst case D F Display style d f is known to be bounded from below by the logarithm of the rank of the matrix M f display style m underscore f. The log rank conjecture proposes that the communication complexity d f display style d f is bounded from above by a constant power of the logarithm of the rank of m f display style m underscore f since d f is bounded from above and below by polynomials of log rank m f display style m underscore f we can say d f is polynomially related to log rank m f display style m underscore f since the rank of a matrix is polynomial time computable in the size of the matrix such an upper bound would allow the matrix's communication complexity to be approximated in polynomial time Note, however, that the size of the matrix itself is exponential in the size of the input. For a randomized protocol, the number of bits exchanged in the worst case, R F, is conjectured to be polynomially related to the following formula log min rank m 
f m f element of r 2 n times 2 n m f minus m f infinity 1 3 Display style log min text rm rank m underscore f m underscore f in math b r carrot two carrot n times two carrot n m underscore f m underscore f underscore inf t leq one third. Such log rank conjectures are valuable because they reduce the question of a matrix's communication complexity to a question of linearly independent rows columns of the matrix. This reveals that the essence of the communication complexity problem, for example in the EQ case above, is figuring out where in the matrix the inputs are, in order to find out if they're equivalent. Topic Applications Lower bounds in communication complexity can be used to prove lower bounds in decision tree complexity, VLSI circuits, data structures, streaming algorithms, space-time trade-offs for Turing machines and more. Notes <laughs>